Hello, everybody. George Kenner. Well, I'll tell you, I've been to a goat roping. I've even been to buzzard races, but I ain't never seen anything quite like this. Now, let me explain why. But first, let me tell you, this is not a scientific review. It's my personal opinion. And if you agree with me, great. If you don't agree with me, put it down in the comments. I saw this kept getting it fed to me in my Facebook feed, and it was a $75 mask with eye protection. I'm thinking, you know, I've got a brand new Fordham tool, which is like a Dremel on steroids. And I could use a little bit more face protection. So I thought, well, maybe this would work. Plus it gives you, you know, potentially some really good air quality. I also do some laser work and it gets a little stinky in the shop every now and then. Why not have a little bit better mask? I went into my Facebook group. I said to the guys, do you think I should re review this? They absolutely agreed I should. So I wrote to the company, told them I was going to do a review. They sent me a discount coupon for about 15%, I think. So which about covered postage by the time it came in from Canada. This is a Canadian product. They found out I was doing the review. Uh, they wrote to me and they told me this removable mask, it has some distortion in it. Now it's kind of hard to see the distortion, but there is some. So when I wanted to use it for say the Fordham tool looking through my glasses and I can see the distortion in it now, I, it's up close work. You don't want distortion when you're doing something up close. So this probably is not going to be as valuable. I didn't know about the distortion before I had bought the item. It does go on there and lock on pretty cool. So what is the quality of the mask? Well, I needed to get some more masks also so, because it only comes with one. This is about, and I'm gonna not, don't quote me on the price, but about $75. Three of the mask replacements are another $12. If you go to Amazon, and I'll put the links down in um, the description, you can get N95 masks, you know, several of them for like 10 to $12. So what makes these so valuable other than they fit in there? Hmm, I don't know, maybe not that much. So, but that's be your opinion. Now I taken a look at this, I put this on the side of my face, I still have a lot of air passage through here unless I really bolt it down and probably make it more uncomfortable than say the standard 3M N95 mask. So is this mask so much better that, you know, I would want to have it over a 3M N95? Well, for the cost differential, I don't really think so. Your opinion could be, of course, different. Scientifically, you can look at the comparison for the um, N95 that's right there and compared to the 3M, is I put this on, I did what I call a perfume test, held perfume up to, on a piece of cotton swab up to my nose, I could still faintly smell the perfume. So some, some fume is getting through it, not terrible. What came in the box? Standard box, nothing fancy. It came, I, of course, the extra masks that I ordered. Now this comes in white. I ordered white. I wanted to be able to visually see when it gets dirty. If it's laying around my shop and got dirty, I want to know time to replace the mask. It came in black. I wouldn't necessarily know that that's not what I ordered. Three instructions, I'll call it um, disclosures, advisories, um, one in English, one in Spanish, and one in French. Hmm. Then this thank you card. That's all that was in the box. Nothing special uh, that I could see that would justify the value. Now, you're welcome to go into my Facebook group, Laser Freedom, and comment on this. I'm gonna post the video in there. So you can leave in the comments here or go into Laser Freedom. I do not pull comments. Everyone is entitled to their opinion and the best opinion takes us in gathering the information about products of other people will influence what we're going to buy. I probably, if it hadn't have been for the visual aspect of this, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but I had some of my followers and some of the group members wanted to know, what do I have coming up? Ice epoxy. Ice epoxy is something that I've got over here. 
I just did a pour up on a table and I, I tinted it white. It came with the tents and everything. I want light to be able to come up through the top of this tabletop. It's going to be uh, a dining, not a dining room table, a coffee table. And if you're sitting there watching the movie at night and you want to subdue the lights, you'd be able to see where you set your drink, that type of thing. That was the plan with that. Also, I've got something coming on a craftsman jointer. Uh, I had one. I'm going to share that story. So please subscribe. Feel free to comment. If you can think of a reason to spend $75 for this over 3M masks, I'd really like to know. You have a very good day. I wish you all the very best. Come back and visit me. Watch some of my other videos. Thank you.